Well, this is it. Cheer on Diablo's minions. <laughs> oh my god, I that that's all, that's the sword I'm getting, aren't I? Yes. Okay, so what a fucking Mike. <laughs> Even though I hear Mike. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so this is it. Final Stop act. Taking my balls. <laughs> oh my god. This is it. Final act. Total play time on this Steam Hunter: twenty, almost twenty-four hours. Oh my god, the 24 hours you get done something productive. <laughs> hey. I gotta throw out a DDoS. Thank you. Wow. Wow. So I'll do this like. Ah, and like. <laughs> slow your computer down. Are you on your desktop or your laptop? My desktop, of course. My laptop can't stream, can't stream this crap. Oh, okay. But yeah. But yeah, I can see your aim messages. You can't. You have dual monitor, right? Well, I can see the little ticker on the blinking. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my defenses look pretty good. Why'd you put Demon Hunter out of in the end? Uh, Demon Hunter. It's best. Well, because actually, actually, Demon Hunters can be super, super cheap. They go Caltrops, Spike Trap, Sentries, 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 Sentries are all really freaking powerful. One seventy-five percent a shot. Spike, <laughs> spike trap is 275, it's so powerful. And the rune makes it so I can blow up three times for max damage each. Okay. Alright, go, go, move. Alright, right, going, going, going. Go die. Hey. <laughs> Link the inevitable. If, if I die, this stream, this stream is over. Oh god, I can't wait. <laughs> Come on, Ant. <laughs> But anyways, I okay. I, if you I give this, are you are you gonna are you done with Diablo? Yes. After this, whether I win or lose. Win or lose. Okay. Losing can be sooner. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what up? <laughs> you knew this was gonna happen. I did. <laughs> you brought this upon yourself. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> okay. Well, honestly, I I really don't know about my chances. So. Oh man, I go for boss fight. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. He's caught here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's stream lag. I don't know if it's like you lag, and I'm like, oh. Well, at least my game is working out right. Every time your stream lags, I keep thinking that you're lagging and you might die. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, man. Well, at least I beat the boss. Dude, this is yeah. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. This is the game is so like the balancing is so whack because of the real money auction house, which there is none in hardcore mode. Oh, there is none in hardcore mode. Oh, so you farm it. Well, I mean, still, I mean, regardless of the Rama, I mean, how items work. There's, I guess, the more so the gap of what you can get at items. It's hard to balance the game. But I mean, Ramah is the easiest way to obtain, but you can still obtain, yeah, without. Damn. That wasn't even like entertaining. <laughs> Just like kill them in like six seconds. Yes, I did. <laughs> is it? Okay, I I'm not gonna lie. This is actually kind of a boring setup, but it just works, it just works so well. Yeah. It's not about having fun, remember? It's about winning. <laughs> winning in a PVE game. <laughs> don't worry. After don't worry. After this, it'll be back to Starcraft like like normal. Oh. I'm you play this game for this long. Waller's, Waller's making me nervous. Waller Mortar. Waller Mortar. Arcane. Actually, the worst is reflect damage. You kill yourself. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Iron Maiden. Yep. Oh yeah, you get Paragon. What, what Paragon are you? Paragon Four. Oh my God. What? Out of a hundred. I didn't. I did not. I didn't do any. Run around in circles grinding for this. This is actually how far I, how high I got while going that's through so, Inferno. That's so. I mean, Paragon is such a. I don't know. It's like such a tacky way, apparently, because I'm still waiting. you know people wanted some progression after beating the game. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, and, and they, th and they, th what are you doing? To the call. Okay. Oh. Hello. 
Whoa! Okay, Vortex is scary. And not much of these guys. It's so loud! Turn on in such a tacky way, like, it's so tacky. And it's... No, because seriously, like, yeah, there's no point after you beat the game that you don't even need, a, you know, NF and shit. So it's like... Some people, a couple people on my friends list are like Paragon level 30 and above. I'm like, holy shit. Alright, here Did we you go. Press, wait. In solo games, you press escape, it pauses, right? Yeah, in solo games. Okay. So someone joins in. Don't mess it up. <laughs> See if I, let's see if this sucks. Do you have, have any uniques? No. To the, to the I have sucks. uniques for. I have, I have a couple of uniques actually, but they're not good enough. It's so stupid. And one of them's and one of them's a barbarian weapon, like this weapon. I have this. This is actually a pretty nice drop I found. Messer Smix Reaver. Messer Smix Reaver. Wow, is that where Dota? There's. I guess Dota got it from Diablo. And I guess Dota, th that's what the weapon's called. I guess they got, took it from Diablo. I, it probably is, cause the the text says this mighty weapon once hewed its way through the demon infested cat. Could this be? Could it be the weapon that Warrior Aiden used to defeat Diablo all those years ago? Huh. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Measures. You don't like take any damage. Well, I haven't been, been getting hit against the number one. Yeah. I guess that's kind of how it has to be. Actually, my defenses are pretty good for a demon hunter. And I just found a cover that just made my damage actually acceptable, even though sentry and spike trap. Okay, this boss is gonna be. This boss. Well, we'll see what happens. Because he hits like a super truck, and if honestly, my defenses aren't high enough. There are some serious issues with this game. Like, seriously. Rockers. There are issues with this game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna deny that. Stunned him. That hurt. Just keep popping smoke screen. Okay, he's down. I, I have a chance at this. <laughs> so my ba so my basic attack bullet shot the rune on it has a chance of stunning, uh. and that's why he got stunned all the time. Oh. So it was very good on that boss. Jesus, his regular attack hit me for ten thousand. I have thirty-two thousand life. This bow sucks. This bow also sucks. Ah. <laughs> uh, so People are complaining about this game. Wait, <laughs> so if you equip a two-handed bow, you can you you can use it with a quiver. Oh, really? You did. You did no, know I that. noticed. I noticed that, but I was like, I thought it was a glitch or something. Oh, that. Actually, even if it was a glitch, you should still abuse it until <laughs> <laughs> they fix. Corruption was strongest to the northeast. Crap. Ow. Okay, well, Rag Knockdown actually stand a chance at actually beating this. Now they seed with the corruption of hell. Because... Isn't that one of the easy bosses? Well... Crap, that didn't work. I'm still waiting. I keep forgetting I don't... I keep forgetting this is in hell mode. This is in hell mode, Act 4. I actually have to be play ultra cautious. Yes. And just have my sentries do the shooting for me. What skill are you using that does that? Never wanted to see this demon. Uh, which skill? I have six of them. Sentry? What? I, what? Sentry gun. The little catapults. There are ballistas oh. that are hanging yep. down. There's also a bubble coming out of them. Cause oh. I have the rune, where if I'm standing in them, I take 15% less damage. Very good for this mode. <laughs> Uh, someone is eating dinner. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Jesus. Ah. You know, 
probably the most dangerous thing in Inferno mode is the environment. The environment just does. I know those things. Yeah. The environment just does so much damage. No kidding. I know what you mean. How come you never use them? Um, uh, what are you using that lowers hatred? Huh? What are you using that lowers hatred? Lowers hatred. You mean my hatred moves? Yeah. Entry and spike trap. Boom, oh, boom, cool. boom. Okay. And then you just use. And then uh, I use a bullet shot to get it yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I use bullet shot too, but I just use the the bow that does a lot of small bow. They're they're wait, what are those called? <laughs> Which bow do you use? The one, the one you know where. It, wait. Need more time. I don't know. I forget. Okay, I'm gonna. At the risk of at the risk of my safety, is it this one? Volatile explosives. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like the one that uses hatred. What do you that mean? I use. The one that uses hatred. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about the rune, I'm talking about the skill. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of moves that use hatred. Yeah, I, so you know that is, one where you, like, you fire a bunch of arrows, like, in continuous motion? Rapid fire? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's the one where you stand still go da 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 Yeah. But I'm finding it not very effective, especially when huge mobs are running at me. E I, yeah, I'm actually not gonna lie, it isn't that effective in this mode. Oh, ow. That, that fireball hit me for almost 10,000. So what are your stats? Uh, my stats? You'd be surprised at how not high they are. Alright, so I've got... Well, you're not even taking that much damage. Well... I do. That's the po that's the idea. My armor is really good. Forty-seven hundred defense. Uh huh. Five hundred physical resist. I can't see your DP your damage. My damage is twenty-four thousand. Oh. It was, it was <laughs> twenty-two thousand at the start of the attack, and then I found a quiver that was really powerful. That gave me two hundred ninety-three dexterity. Do, do those things that fall down, do they ever do damage? I don't think they actually do damage if they come crashing, and if they do, it's not a lot. Yeah. Alright, level two. I think I'm gonna get some food. Bowl of right cereal. Here? Yeah! Bowl of cereal for dinner. That sounds like Tony. Kind of. Anyway. There's another guy named Anthony that sounds like me. Sort of. Well, no, now that. Never mind. Now you know. Right. My name is also Anthony. He's, he's blackout. He's been, he's been telling you how StarCraft works from the beginning. Yeah. Wait, where'd you go, Diana? Damn it! <laughs> Both fireball. Yeah, his voice is annoying. <laughs> he is like Diablo. Yeah, Diablo in this game is such a Saturday morning cartoon Dude, villain. It's so stupid. So I can't respect this fucking game's terrible story. You surely won't get through this guy. Ha ha ha. You not this guy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, definitely not this guy. <laughs> In like Asmodan and shit, like the legendary demon general and his tactic is shove a bunch of things at you and think they all die. Like it's not a very legendary tactic. <laughs> it's stupid, man. Like it's I mean we're laughing about it, but it's terrible. It's a fucking joke. This game's story is so shit. Characters so one dimensional and predictable and terrible. Oh, purple sweet potato. Oh yeah, so Dan, this this is Anthony. He's actually been, he's the one who's been telling you how StarCraft works from the Black beginning. Out. Wait, what? He's black. My other friend here is Blackout. He's the one who's been telling you oh, how StarCraft yeah, I remember. works. Yeah. Cool.
Wait, so are you, are you a gamer at all? Or just Mike just been telling about all these games and you're just playing them through his pure pressure? <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on! Well, sort of. <laughs> but I actually enjoy them. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah, I keep asking you, you let's play StarCraft because Diana's also on and more players is more fun. Yeah. It's so hard for me to fucking play Wings, dude. Wings is just like, I don't even know if I look hot that much, but at least there's like a few new units. Like, Every time you call I feel play SC2, I just envision myself not enjoying this. Like, and that's not to be mean, like, if I enjoyed it, I'd, I'd fucking play it, but I just can't see it. It's just not that fun, but I don't know, I'm hoping Hots will change that, but I doubt it'll change much. But I'll still play Hots, I'll still get it, but I doubt it's gonna change much. I'm, I mean, it's gonna... I'll play a little more, but like... Because, you know, a little more is more than not playing at all, but... I mean, the game's still gonna have all the same issues that I feel with this, but... But I'll still get it. Definitely won't get a D3 expansion. That really sucks dick. I'll get the StarCraft 2 expansion. StarCraft is the only franchise I think of that is still yeah. uh, respectable. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, well, I was got, I was dead, and this game's a piece of shit. So. Yeah, but StarCraft still is decent. So. Yeah, I agree. Did you play games before, like? My god, should we use this game in StarCraft, or...? Um, sort of. Well, okay, when I was in high school, my mom was like, No games for you! So, we had to dial up. <laughs> mm. and, and when I was in college, I kind of focused on, like, my career stuff, so I didn't play that many games. What? <laughs> yeah. Square. Okay. But, anyway, yeah. But I used to play Gunbound when I was in high school. Mm. And I, I can't play FPS games because I get dizzy after like that. Gotcha. So do you still play in dial up when we play StarCraft with you? No! Because <laughs> I live by myself now Why due to the hard workingness of, of my college days. Fair enough. Oh, it's kind of scary. Oh no kidding! I really hate to reflect damage. Oh yeah, reflect damage is by far the worst. I'm here supporting the Diablo's base. <laughs> I have great friends. Just saying. Every time it's health drops, my heart goes up. Heart <laughs> goes up. Excitement. You're so mean. The vision. <laughs> so it's not wasting time. It's trash ass game. But whatever. <laughs> he says he's done after this, so I can't only be that mad. But you know, dying will just be that that hilarious. I'll probably like make a video of it too or something. It'll have like that that Imogen Heap song. Like, <laughs> what you say? And I'm like, I'm dying. I'm gonna loop that shit. Oh my god. You wanna make this bowl of cereal taste better? I do like it. So mean. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! You know what I also played a lot of? Because I had dial up. What? Okay. I thought. That was pretty sad. L runescape. We, were, we used to be into World of Warcraft and got pretty hardcore about it. And then Blizzard introduced the arena system which is a system to drive friends apart because we all rolled the wrong classes. Yep, we couldn't play, we didn't. We couldn't make up a good enough composition of the classes we had to compete. So. Isn't that why you joined guilds? But we wanted to play with each other though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, we were in guilds, yeah, but it's like, you know what I mean? Like me, Mike, and Vince, which is our other friend, like we wanted to make a team together if we couldn't, unless one of us wanted to re-roll, just win a 1 to 80 and play a class we didn't want to play. Got it. I mean, we had, yeah, we had guildmates. We had some teams with the like, guildmates in the but overall, it was like, it was still And then also, because the game became so regulated, I mean, this is a big part of game design. It's like a very give and take, like, balancing act. You can, if you reward it, if you, re if you introduce a rewarding system and don't put any limit on it, then the players will turn it into a boring grind fest. But if you don't put any rewards in it, the players may lose interest. So. It's a very fine line, because back in the OG Blizzard, in the OG World of Warcraft, there was 
really the only reward was so far that most people just didn't go for it, so then PvP was just for fun. Like, you just did it to have fun. Yeah. And then so they introduced Arena and Battlegrounds and made everyone able to obtain everything, then everyone started finding ways to not have fun with it, but just to, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and then ruin the game, honestly. Like, there's a, th- you know what botting is? Like, like, you just have to... Yeah, you, you can bot on... It's so rampant in the wow, it's oh, Like, most people don't even, like, because the game's not funny. There's but even bots for PvP now. <laughs> yeah, I have this Like, have a Chinese people, or are they not allowed on our server? They can do it, they just use, like, ma- IPs that mask. I mean, they just have yeah. lag. I mean, when you're grinding, lag doesn't matter, you know? So, yeah, I mean, when I was, when I, before I quit WoW, I started botting at the end because I didn't care about my account. Like, if it got banned, I didn't really care shit, I was done with the game. Um, and I had more fun botting than I had playing the game. Like, <laughs> That's pretty sad. It's pathetic, yeah, but it's hilarious because I realized, like, man, like, once I started playing the game again, like, this is even fun. Like, just, like, logging on to see what my bot did was, like, more fun than actually playing the game. <laughs> um, and so, it got to the point where, like, I would watch my bot sometimes because I'm, like, you know, like, doing stuff on my computer and my WoW was on the side. And, uh... How the bot works when you play PvP is it has like preset locations it will go to depending on how the situation is playing out and it'll cast spells and stuff and then so it has preset locations it runs to and there was one game where I started it and then fucking six people ran the exact same path as me. They were all botting. <laughs> so it's like that's like half the team right there is Reminds botting. me of Maple Story. <laughs> yep. I assume all those Asian MMOs they have the botting is rampant as hell, right? Mm-hmm. They don't really give a shit. Hell, the creator's probably bought. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. So, yeah, but botting, I remember when I first got into botting in WoW, so when I showed Mike everything, it was so funny. I was like, hey, look, like, I have all this gear and I didn't even play the game. Like, <laughs> it was so awesome. But I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's not even like a I'm good like, thing that, not even before, my fault. Before I quit the honestly, game, I was like, like, before I quit the game, I was like, dude, I, I played my ass off for half the gear you got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I left Aww. it on, and I would just like log off every like few hours, you know, just to like make it not look super bad. And then, you know, I got full gear, played a few matches, but because I bought it so long, I didn't know any of my hotkeys, so <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty sloppy. But I mean, I didn't care. It was whatever. Played a few rounds and did some old raids. That was fun doing old raids just to get like transmog gear. That was fun. I did that, and then we did some of the looking for raid stuff. Did like the new raids, and then. I mean, like, people do that stuff and they don't even, like, play the game, you know? Like, there's, like, those bosses that are really, like, you just have, that they're really easy, but you have, like, a specific thing you have to do against them. Like, people just don't listen to everyone's auto happening. Mm. And no one's paying attention, like, every- it's true though, like, it, it's it's sad, like, the game, you know, I always hated in that game when people always talked about, oh man, like, how do people get stuff for free and I had to work for it, like, why are you working for something in a game? Like, you you work to make money, you work for your career, you don't work yeah. when you're in a game, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. if, you, if you want something in a game, it should be fun to obtain, and you should, yeah. when someone gets it for free, you should feel bad for them because they miss the experience of having a good time to get it, but the game is so boring that it wasn't an experience getting stuff, it was just tedious. Yeah. It's pathetic. Like I, it just bothered me. Like that. That. And that's that's the MMO. That's the MMO fucking genre. Like it's it just it's a, genre. it's a trash genre. I hate that genre. Like that. And it's because of that. Because people aren't reinventing it. Everyone's copying. Wow is so successful. Yeah. It's not really uh, and that's Wow's fault. Like it's not Wow's fault that they're successful, but it's everyone else's fault. And partially Wow's fault too. I mean, For not innovating. For not innovating. And, but they have no need to. You know, like I tried Mr. Pandaria. <laughs> For, uh, I logged in because I, I was like, okay, I'll try it, you know, like, to be fair, I'll try it. I logged in, flew to Pandaria, first thing it says, it says, uh, what does it say? It said, kill 12 orcs. Oh, no, no, it said, shoot 100 orcs with this helicopter. I'm like, okay, like a helicopter, you know, I have, like, machine gun bullets, like, I'll just kill them really quick, that'll be fine. Kill them all. Second one is land and kill 12 orcs. And I was like, nope. Oh. Because it's because they're not innovating at all. Like, why should I play that shit? Why should I waste my time? So. That's true. Yeah. So, w- would you agree with like the, the way the industry is moving in general, just towards mobile gaming? I don't know if I say mobile gaming, but I think triple A gaming is uh, having issues right now. Like the really big. I think I I can't even blame them for not taking risks because they're they cost to make those games cost like six million dollars. If you take it, if it flops, like your company's going, you're gone. Like, yeah. 
your den. So, yeah. I can't blame them, but at the same time, like, it sucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the indie market is, is becoming bigger, though, with Kickstarter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, this is kind of safe. Are you going to buy Ouya? <laughs> I might. Oh. I agree. I agree. You, you have time when you're young and you have the world to learn, so. Yeah. I agree, so I'm right now we have pretty much any the computer attack right now. Yeah, let's get knowledge get that knowledge. So yeah. when, when I do game it's it better be like no bullshit, like no thirty minute cutscenes, no grinding, like give me a story and shove it down my throat <laughs> while I mash buttons and progress of the game. And if I had a good time then I'll keep playing, and if I don't then I'll fucking stop. <laughs> so yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I'm a very, I, I realize I'm a very, very, very picky gamer after, like... No, that's good, because you yeah. don't want to be that person who's willing to spend, like, <sighs> so much money on one game that... And time? Yeah. I have so many friends who have had these backlogs of games, like, 30 games that they, like, need to beat. And that's, like, 30 games that they're going to eventually want to beat, and that's just, like, sucks. Like, that's so much time. Yeah. Just playing games, so... I actually didn't pay any attention at all to the last Steam sale. Ah, <sighs> Steam sale's oh. the greatest thing. <laughs> Wait. I, I, I was kind of keeping track of this one, because I've become super picky, I just don't... Nothing really interests me. Like, I know what I like, and because of that, like, oftentimes if something isn't super interesting or unique, then I'll... I can, I'll instantly put it as an inferior version of X game I like more. <laughs> because that's oftentimes a lot of games are very similar. Yeah. So, like, I play League of Legends right now, and there's all these uh -oh. mobiles, like, um, you know, like, there's, like, Smite came out, and I don't know, there's a lot, like, and I'm like, these are just bad versions of League, like, and that's not, like, to say they're bad games, but, like, why would I play this over League? So, like, I used to play League of Legends, so... Oh, um, there's a, it's like a game, it's like an arcade game where you just like kill stuff, like, like, just, like, you literally, it's like Diablo, but like multiplayer. Well, I guess wait, Diablo. wait, did you think I was going to ask what LOL was? No, 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 you said wait, something. Oh, you said oh, you're gonna... oh. oh, I was going to just ask, like, why you play LOL versus something that involves more skill. <laughs> okay, LOL is very, um, stress-free. You... Yes, it's very accessible. That's the thing. Oh. Well, I'm, if, if you want to be like a, my my main game, I used to play I used to play fighting games. Those games are. Oh, okay. So well, that's how you and Mike get along really well. Actually, I'm not that good at fighting games. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of his 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 agent for this but, too. But Anne actually got me. Anne actually got me interested in the whole fighting game scene and genre. So I I enjoy watching fighting games a lot. Yeah, yeah I remember we went to the arcade a few times and I would show him some stuff. Every oh, I'd, I'd always be like, how does he know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's my hardcore side. And then League of Legends is really is, is yeah, it's very accessible. So. I already have a plan, Staff and of Hurting. It's more like... Wait, why don't you pick that up? Because I already have a plan, Staff of Hurting. The Blacksmith oh, already knows oh, okay. it. And it can't leave my inventory. How annoying oh, is okay, that? Okay, got it. I can't even drop it. Wait, is this something that you only get from this one... Um, yeah. Oh, monster dude, monster I never showed you the monster. secret level of Diablo. No, what? Okay, um, after this is over, we're, we're gonna play the secret level. I think I only have the nightmare version. Ah, you can't drop it? That's a fucking horrible design. I can't over. drop it, it's stuck in my the inventory until I die. That's insane. That's like something that a fucking indie team would mess up. No, I'm I like, god dang it, I have this air gold air book air that I can't do anything with. I can't sell no, it, I can't really drop it. That's really sloppy. Like, that's really bad. But whatever. I mean, at least it's not, like, a huge... But that's sloppy. That's fucking whatever. Yeah, so now it's, Hopefully so they know. So now it's a permanent stain in my backpack. That's stupid. That's such... You can't that's just put it in, like, your third level of inventory. Or, like... Uh, I could, but then it'll just be stuck in his in <laughs> inventory for the rest of... Whenever. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's only <laughs> one square big. That's still... It's the, it's the thought behind it. It's sloppy. Sort of sucks. Anyway, though, um... Alright, almost at the end. Hey, there we go. Oh, that really dark area, that's really scary. Yep. Captain Bunker. Diablo 1, Diablo 1 was genuinely scary. Maybe that was because I played it when I was 8 years old. That's it. <laughs> actually, actually, it's still pretty... It, it, it does have the creepy feeling down. Every level in Diablo 1 is, is almost pitch black. 
Yeah. And you'll have the small light rays around you. Light ray, yes. 1995 gaming, yo. Yeah. Best time. No, okay, so it's funny. I want to defend the league a little bit, even though I'm not going to defend it that much, because I don't yeah. care that much about it. It's not my... <laughs> <laughs> no, I will defend a little bit. I mean, honestly, there is, it is pretty fun because, like, like this is one to complain about how, how StarCraft, right? This is not to say, like, like this is trap, but this is, like, make, you know, Mike, not, like, constantly compares it to StarCraft. StarCraft, when you start the game, in my opinion, is very boring. You sit there and you watch your six workers yeah. go back and forth, and you watch buildings build, and then eventually, you know, you might start fighting stuff. And then, unfortunately, even if you want to, like, build a certain unit, if it's a high-tech unit, you have to just wait. Like, I want to build battle cruiser as well. You're going to have to wait for your barracks to finish, and your factory to finish, and your starport to finish, and then your fusion core to finish, and then, you know, build. You know, like, it's like, that's yeah. not fun. You know what I mean? In League of Legends, right when you start the match, you're already playing your character. You're already combating your opponents. And that's why it's like, it's like, there's ten players in the game, so it's a lot more... Yeah, but you can't use, like, certain skills higher level. Yes, that's true, but they, that's pretty quick. Like, your level 6 skill is the only one you can't use until you hit level 6, and level 6, I mean, takes like 8 minutes. Like, and that's your one skill. The other three skills you have access to immediately. Okay. So. Warcraft okay, 3, that's the opposite. You don't, you rarely see level 6. <laughs> you know. And even when people hit 6, they don't take it, because it's so bad sometimes. It's kind of sad. But. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no, she's still played Warcraft 3. You ever play Warcraft 3? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's. I mean, and, and and because it's 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 you know, there's there's a hundred characters, so it's like you get a big variety every game. Like, let's say you like really want to play a different character. Yeah, but that's really annoying because you have to know the game like really, really, really well to do like a little bit well. That's actually why I can't really get into. Like, I don't want to take the time to learn this. Like virtually yeah. skillless game. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. Hey, honestly, you guys. But I'm gonna say there. I mean, there is. I mean, I'm not gonna like take offense though, because I don't care to defend it that much. Because I don't okay. like take pride in my skill. But I mean, there's a reason. If it's if it's truly skillless, then you know, go go pro. They have, they have million dollar tournaments. You know what I mean? Like, there is. There, it's okay. a different kind of skill though than than Starcraft. The thing about it is that Starcraft is very mechanically demanding. You have to push a lot of buttons. League of Legends is not very mechanically demanding. It really isn't. It's actually not a hugely deep game. It really isn't, but it's like what what makes it like the things that make it, you know, deep are like this little like you can't like little mistakes or or little judgment calls here and there can like snowball out of control. So it's punishing in that respect. So like I mean, anyone can like hit, you know, click on someone with like, like press Q and then click on someone. Like anyone can do that. But you know, like knowing when to do it, knowing your opponent's your damage versus your opponent's damage, knowing you know, baiting the opponent so your teammate is nearby, knowing their skills, knowing your skills. Like that's where the skill comes. In. Mechanically, it's not nearly as demanding as Starcraft. So on the surface, it looks a lot less. You know, I'm not gonna say it is like really deeper than that, but it, there's definitely skill to it. It's just a different yeah. kind. So. Well, I feel like it's more teamwork and just knowing it really well. But yes, that is a big part of it. But I mean, that's like, you know, I mean, that's that's if you want to think of high level StarCraft, StarCraft, high level StarCraft is a bunch of memorizing too, yeah. and that's not a good thing either. Like, I don't like that. But I mean, you, you want to memorize, like, you want to look at high level StarCraft. You think about those build orders; those are way more tedious. At least in this game, when you're memorizing stuff, it's like your combat skills versus their combat skills. In StarCraft, memorizing is like at six minutes I drop a barracks. At four minutes and thirty-eight seconds I drop my first barracks. At twenty supply I make an SCV. Like that's way tedious, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like so, I don't memorize build orders, but because I don't, I'll never be that good at StarCraft. You know what I mean? So. Um, the thing is, though, also, yeah, I understand that, like, memorizing the opponent's stuff is tedious, but when you play the game a lot, it's not, like, you just remember, you just remember oh, it. Oh, right, yeah. But if you enjoy they the always game. come out with new characters. Yeah, but it's, like, right. four, it's, like, four moves. <laughs> like, it's just four on top of, you, you know what I mean? You kind of have to understand it in relation to the other two in your character. Yes, but if you don't play, if you, let's say you play only, you know, like... 
uh, let's say you like only like one lane, like one uh, roll, then you can just play that role. So then that like shuts down a huge part of the cast that you have to know. And then a lot of other people like you don't have to memorize all their moves. You just have to memorize their dangerous moves. You know what I mean? Like there's a guy who has like he can he can snare he can slingshot to you. He can stun everyone around him, and then he can just do damage around him. You don't have to memorize like all three. You just memorize he can slingshot to you and he can stun you. Like you know what I mean? Like to memorize. Oh, this move does this much damage, and his you know his his bandage swipe does this much, and his cry does this much. You just know that his dangerous moves are his stick. Like you know what I mean? So um, and then there's like another character like this girl named Middley. She can throw a spear and. She has like two forms, and each move, like, each some has, you know, like her, her cat form, she can pounce, she can swipe around her, uh, her, her human form, she can throw a javelin, and she can heal, she can throw traps, like, she has eight moves, but to me, all you have to remember is, dodge her spears, she can, she can jump around as a cat, and she can heal in human form. That's really all you have to remember, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, yeah. So, it's not like you have to memorize eight skills. Like every character, no, you know, it's not, it's not. That. I mean, knowing that stuff will definitely help, but it's really not like hugeness. I mean, I've gotten killed by just by characters I've never played against. I'm like, what the hell can she do? And it happens, but yeah. I mean, Part of the I, learning process. exactly. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say like if you don't like the game, go learn every, you know, don't do it. Yeah. But I, like, if you enjoy the game, then that information will just come. So. Okay. It's kind of like that with fighting games too. Like that happens sometimes. Yeah. But my, my opinion is harder because every opponent, ha you know, every character has, you know, a six lot. normal attacks, six Gosh, characters. I don't like to list all the questions I've asked and it's like, what the hell do I do against that or what was that? Yeah. So like it's, they have like, and it's it's way harder to play a fighting game, right? It's the skill you need is so much. Yes. It, I, can, I agree with that. Yeah. It's it's one of those things that you really like don't I mean you can see it and you'll really you know I mean you can respect it and you'll see it's really skilled and then when you like really play a top player you really see just how much better they are than you. Like I I was pretty good for a while, like back when I played a lot. And I played like a pro, uh, a high level pro player and like every time I would throw this low kick, he would do a move and his front leg would go over my leg and kick me in the head. And I he like did it twice to me, I'm like, that's just luck. Like whatever, and I kept doing it. And kept doing it back, and I was like, "Fuck! <laughs> like, how is he this good?" Like it's the little things where, like, you throw your leg out. Like when you're watching, you know, people, you're like, "Why didn't you kick him there?" You know, and then you try the same situation against a top player, and then he like dodges your leg and then kicks your toe and then takes off half your health, and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. I mean, but like that's the. Be I mean, I love fighting games. Fighting games are my favorite genre, competitive or not. But um, the League of Legends is like. It kind of, you know, it, it, it's kind of, it's like a, an easier fighting game in that respect with teamwork involved instead of a solo. Like, it's a lot about memorizing character versus character, but instead of having memorized fucking 20 to 30 moves per character, it's four moves per character. Okay. You know, so... And there's teamwork involved, so even if you fuck up, like, it's not, like, the end of the world. Like, I, I like 1v1 when I take a game seriously. I don't like to depend on other people when I play a serious yeah. game. But when I'm playing casual, because League of Legends, I don't, I don't play tournament. I just casually yeah. play, like jump on. And people actually play it, like on like StarCraft 2 or only Mike plays it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can actually find friends. Yeah, play. everybody else can't handle StarCraft 2. Oh. Um, no, it's, that's that's bullshit. But it is it is daunting if, if you look at it from the wrong perspective. But <laughs> League of Legends is, it's, I mean, it's casual. Right like, there. I jump on, I can pick a random character. I have Playing. I only have four skills to memorize, you know. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's relaxing, exactly. And it's accessible, and, and that's honestly very important. I mean, there's a big movement right now, you know, is where a lot of, where StarCraft 2 is, I don't want to say it's like, it's not in like a trouble of dying, but there is definitely interest yeah. weight in it, and a lot of it is going to League of Legends. And yeah. a big part of it is accessibility. Like, I mean, and it's not a good reason accessible. A lot of people, it's accessible because you have teammates to blame. A lot of people can't blame themselves on a mistake. Yeah. And they just don't have, like, the mental strength to do it. So, even though that's pathetic and that's stupid, in the end, I mean, it makes League of Legends more popular than StarCraft. That just, that's yeah. all there is to no, it. No, I totally agree. That's how people in general. Yeah. In real life, yeah. Oh, totally. This is why trading card games are so big. Like... Because you, oh, I didn't draw the right card. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. I didn't draw the right card. Like, it's true. My friend owns a gaming hobby store, and that's actually where I'm probably gonna work soon. Um, but that's one of the perfect example. Is like a lot of the kids there, they play card games, and why is that? Because 
Aw, oh, you're lucky I don't have that card. <laughs> you yeah. didn't beat me because you're better than me. You beat me because you have that card. Yeah. But if, and then they play again. You know, you know, I, was, I was like that when <laughs> we played Yu-Gi-Oh! in high school. Yeah! Because yeah. you, you, you all spent some... You all, spent some, you all yeah. went to 8-Ball and bought all those cards. I'm like, <laughs> what the f... I was like... Why are these cards just plainly better than mine? Yeah, it's so stupid. Like I, I started playing Yu again recently because I have to learn it to like play to work at my friend's store. And the game is so there's so many broken things in the game. Like the game is so pretty much all the good cards in the game are ways to to fuck the rules. Yeah. Like the rules are literally there just to be not followed. Like that's literally what Yu Gi Oh is. Being. It's like imagine a Starcraft and like all the. I, I, I kind of agree. I think I caught it towards like when it was dying, sort of. Yeah, when when a lot of people stopped playing, but I mean, then new generation came, but you weren't part of that generation. Like, yeah, that, exactly. Oh my god, I went all this way down there for nothing. God, that sucks. Damn I mean, it. Well, at least you're gonna grow a paragon level. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Freaking Diablo. Well, paragon. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're kind of saying that just joking. But, uh, but no, I mean, imagine if StarCraft, all the best units in tournament play were the ones that didn't have build times. Like, that's literally what Yo has become. Like, yeah, no, I totally agree. You know, and what with StarCraft, I mean, the whole entire game is around build times. That's like what balances the game. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. You're saying it's just hilarious. But that's that's a perfect analogy. It's literally like, oh, all the best units don't have build times. Like that's retarded. But that's what you get. So yeah, it's I don't like it, but whatever. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's still Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's it's just it's ridiculous. Like what happened? <laughs> like, what happened? But like, Konami has to sit there and make a fucking new ways to make kids spend money, so... They're gonna make this cheaper card here, and you're like, oh my god. I gotta have that card. Better I pack that man. So how much well. does, like, a, a six um, star monster, like, what's a typical, um, like, attack and defense? Um, the attack and defense, okay, here's the funny part. So, six star doesn't mean anything anymore, really. What? So, you don't have to sacrifice in order to. You to sacrifice, but all the good cards require have special summoning properties. Oh, okay. So, no one runs tributes or two tributes anymore. Okay. Like, okay. so, and the attack and armor values, whatever, I mean, they can be whatever, but its effects are lower broken. Oh, this monster's 1800, but hey, you could just prevent your opponent from summoning a monster every turn. Like, okay. Like, it doesn't matter how low his attack is at that point, you know what I mean? Like, you can just get him. Yeah. Cool. Like, oh, this monster it shuts down your opponent's trap magic field. Like, okay. Wow. And, and I brought him out for free. He, I brought him out for free. I didn't even have to sacrifice him. Like, boom, he's just out. And you can't cast spell. Like, that's you. Know. Wow. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. So, you might as well kind of cheat and pull your deck full of Dirt. But everyone's well, doing it though. Everyone does it, so then it's not even cheap anymore because no. everyone's broken. You have to do cool. that because everyone's doing it. If you don't do it, you won't win because everyone's doing it. If you don't, do it. so you have to do That's it. That's like no fun at all. That's like basically you you play for like what five moves each and then someone wins. I mean, it's not. It, it can go back and forth a little bit at times, and it, sometimes it does. But I mean, like, oh, oh, they're called OTKs, one turn kills. Those are pretty big in card games right now. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! I think they they banned a lot to to make like OTKs kind of not there. But I mean, they're still like they're like two TKs, you know, three TKs. Like they're not horrible. Like, like I don't know. I I just have this one. Like my friend has this like. It was this called it's like called like Dino Bunny deck or something and there's this new kind of summon called XYZ summon, which is you just like combine two monsters that have like stars and you bring in an XYZ monster that has the same stars. But then the XYZ monsters are super cheap. So like you like in one corner you like summon this monster and it brings out another monster which summons two monsters from the deck. And then you XYZ those two monsters. And so you have three monsters in one turn. And one of those monsters can stop when it's magic and trap field. And it's like, okay, yeah, you're okay. Okay, that's so retarded. Yeah. And so, how do you combat that? You have to do it back. Yeah, yeah. So. But magic cards are still pretty alive, right? Magic is still pretty big. The thing about how magic does it is they, they ban sets. So, there's type 1, which is anything. Hey. Uh -huh. And type 2 is tournament, is the, is the true tournament. And type 2 is like the, the current three sets, the past three sets, and then like that year's edition, like, okay, where they print old cards, like, that they want to keep in circulation, but aren't part of the new sets. Yeah. 
So, um, if you play Type 1, Type 1 is full of OTKs. If you don't OTK, you're going to get OTKed in Type 1. Yeah. So, but in Type 2, I think it's a little better, but I mean, it's kind of gotten to that point where, yeah, it's kind of stupid too. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know enough about Magic, I don't play Magic anymore, but... I used oh to yeah, play. Diablo! Yep, it's about time. Okay. Why are you still alive? <laughs> <laughs> because I play good. Not good. <laughs> Wait, what's the name of your character? I think I'll stay on Character's the name is Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when the fighting might start again. Yarwa man. I'm. Gosh, I'm gonna say this again. I'm so sad that my Warcraft 3 Yar man has got deleted. Tiska Tiska. Halfway to Jaina icon. Spent three <laughs> years on that. So, this Sucks. is where the journey ends. I remember in E2. What's up? No, you say it. Mine is useless. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I remember in D2 when they like your character is deleted in what like 90 days or something, oh, yeah. but then they, they eventually change it to if someone doesn't take the name in 90 days, then you'll stay permanently. Wow, how convenient! Oh, I've been trapped perfectly on this spot. No way, go on without me. <laughs> Stupid. The writing in this game is pretty shit, like what is? But not too bad. But I don't. I had. I wasn't playing this game. Good <laughs> fair. Enough. Yeah, no, I mean this game is not is not made for its story, but Yeah. I'm I'm a big story junkie now because I've been working on my own comic and I like really pay attention to that stuff. And like I guess So it's... comic, is it like anime or or a manga or is it like American? See that's the thing, like it's it's really those lines are so blurred now because of like things like how to tell the last air vendor. Uh, what is that? Like it's it's Western but it's like anime art style. What really defines you know anime versus Western. I mean, I'm not from Japan, so <laughs> technically it's not manga, right? But yeah. the art art style is influenced of both Western and Western. It's kind of a, my own style of like what I like from both. I just like to put it to you know. Wow, you killed them and created his job. Yeah. How does that happen when you? Good have job. That's not his skill. That's his item. <laughs> 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 it's not about how good he's clicking the button. Well, he's doing pretty decent at Yeah, but I mean, like... It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's nothing to do with his suit. Come on! Jayo! Shut up, y'all. Yeah. Last time I cheered for Diablo's minions. You can't be cheering for his Diablo's minions, they grow strong. <laughs> How long do those spears last? 60 seconds. Oh, that that's really a really like decent chunk of time. This isn't even like entertaining. It's no, not even no, like all. Uh, well, one slip up. You can make it into a dead. So that's that's one thing you have to watch out for. But I don't feel it as a viewer. <laughs> You're just well, like, my heart's my heart's kind of pounding right now. Oh, I can't stop. You're not doing any damage. <laughs> well, not not really. good. Good see. Like barely. Yeah. But the other thing back so fast. Come on, both for the. Caught my scope. Caught my invisibility move. Oh, oh lightning! All right, this is it. Boom! Yeah, this is it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap! That like. Good job, Strawberry. Woo! I like how your viewers went from five to three. I wonder who the other viewer is. Probably uh, some rant. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, I've I watch streams a lot, and sometimes I'll just find some game like I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to watch that game, you know, and I'll just like jump yeah. on, won't say anything, you know, like I might not even be logged in, but like I'll just watch, you know, because I'm just like, eh. so who knows? It might be someone like that. It's just. <laughs> Hi, person who's the third watcher. <laughs> Let us see, Anna. You should get mad at him. Like, what the fuck? You didn't help me. All these items suck. This game. I'm, I'm, I'm through. Uh, I'm gonna go and equip my like two-handed crossbow in my inventory now.